Hey there, it's me again. If you've been following along, I've been making this weird Arduino thingamajig in the past couple of weeks, and I haven't really said what it's for. That's mostly because I wasn't exactly sure that I was going to be able to pull this thing off, but I did. Uh, and so what I'm, what this is, what I'm making is a virtual reality cycling experience that uses a physical bike. Um, I'm going to demonstrate that to you today and show you exactly how that works. So let me start with how it's set up. So the way this works is I've put um, my bike on an indoor trainer here so that this thing is going to stay in place and this wheel can move freely. I'm going to power on my Arduino with a 9 volt battery. So now we're on. I want to do is place it just about here. So I've got an, a little LED here just to give me visual confirmation that it's actually reflecting. I've got a little um, knob here that I can turn to adjust based on the lighting conditions. But when I move away, it turns off. When I hit it, it turns on. So that tells me I'm good to go. So the next step is to get my mobile phone in place for a virtual reality um, screen. So I'll be using um, Unity running on a mobile phone, in this case an iPhone 6s Plus, um, and Google Cardboard. Now Google Cardboard is, it's, it's two things, it's, it, it might be a little bit confusing if you haven't heard about it before. It's literally a case made of cardboard that's meant to house your phone so you can use it to uh, view stereo renders um, as a three-dimensional image, but it's also um, an SDK is, um, for Unity or for other applications that will help you develop the software side of it for stereo-based images. So I, for this project, I actually didn't go with this just because this is the original cardboard viewer and is too small for my phone. Um, and I tried a couple other things. I bought this cool Viewmaster one too, which is neat. It's even got its own little uh, joystick, or what's it called? some kind of switch on the side too, on the opposite side of the cardboard. But I actually went with this $10 piece that looks a little bit more impressive, but it's the same concept. There's a $10 case from some company called GearBest. But you can see that what's nice about it is that one, it fits my massive phone, and two, it's got all this nice cushioning and it's got a built-in head strap that I can actually wear so I don't have to outfit these guys with it. And um, there's, it's just got some nice little touches. For $10, I decided to splurge. So let's see. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up my app and I don't know if you can see that. The app is called Bike VR. It's not in the app store. It's just something that I built for myself. I need to do some coordination here. This is um, a wireless um, experience, but I'm going to be a little bit tethered here because I want to record what's on the screen here so that you're not just staring at me pedaling in a cold garage um, one o'clock in the morning. Um, so I'm going to set this back up and scan for my Arduino, connect to it. There we go. I'm going to place it into my little headset. And away we go. I don't knock over my laptop in the process. Alright, so the first thing you'll notice is that I'm out of sync with where I'm supposed to be at. So like my, my bike is facing this way, but my screen is like kind of off center. I've mapped this little notch here so that it recenters where I need to be. Alright, there we go. Get to a comfy place. Alright. Here we go. So remember, every time I pedal and that white strip um, reflects light back into the Arduino sensor, it's going to send a message to my phone and in Unity it's going to take that ping and say, oh, you're moving, you're pedaling, and it's going to propel this virtual bike in this virtual environment. So here goes. And we're off! Place. I 
found this little uh, town as a unity asset and I just dropped it in here so that I had an environment to actually move in. I've been, I've been staring at a checkerboard plane for the past couple of weeks, so this is a lot more interesting. Oh, a lot more interesting. Oh. <laughs> So one thing you'll notice is that I'm on a fixed path that I um, crafted throughout this area. Look at that, you can see the boat, it's so cool. Um, there's no reason, like, if I were to continue on with this project that we would put some kind of sensor on this actual bike frame to allow it to steer in place. Right now it doesn't do anything. But if I did that, then maybe I wouldn't need a fixed path. I could actually freely roam around this environment, which would be pretty crazy. But I'm not going to do that. Maybe, maybe one of you will. So there you have it. You know, this the Arduino with all its components and whatnot cost about thirty dollars to make. This um, more luxurious Google Cardboard viewer is uh, $10, so for $40 you're getting this like virtual rea reality experience and you don't need some like $600 virtual reality kit that requires some like $2,000 PC that you have to be tethered to. Um, you get it all from mobile VR. Pretty cool. So yeah, that's, that's uh, my update. This thing works, it's pretty cool, and um, I'm going to keep roaming around here and get some um, unintended exercise as I explore the city. But uh, until next time, thanks for watching.